morning, Blue family. Let's get a beat so we can say hello. We like Eleanor, there's no doubt about it. We like Victoria, there's no doubt about it. We like Stella, there's no doubt about it. We are all good friends. We like Jake and there's no doubt about it. We like Jacob, there's no doubt about it. We like Gianna, there's no doubt about it. We are all good friends. We like Ford and there's no doubt about it. We like Annie, there's no doubt about it. We like Daniel, there's no doubt about it. We are all good friends. We like Elena, there's no doubt about it. We like Brody, there's no doubt about it. We like Brendan, there's no doubt about it. We are all good friends. We like Austin, there's no doubt about it. We like Miss Alexa, there's no doubt about it. We like Miss Micah, there's no doubt about it. We are all good friends. We're making ice cream in a bag today. We have one, two, three, four steps. Step one, put ice in a large bag and add a quarter of a cup of salt. Step two, we're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a cup of half and half, and two tablespoons of sugar and put it in this small bag. Step three, we will put the small bag inside of the large bag. Make sure they're both sealed. Step four, we're gonna shake, shake, shake it until it makes ice cream. All right, we're gonna start by putting ice in our large bag. As you can see, I have a towel on the table. That's because it helps the bag not to break when you're shaking it if you wanna hit it on the table to help it along. And it also reduces noise. So let's get some ice in our bag. Looks pretty good to start. And now we're gonna move on to step two. Oh, I gotta put the salt in. Salt on my ice. Uh, Salt. Let's see here. There's one cup, a half a cup, a third of a cup, a fourth of a cup. Put some salt in there. And we're going to put the salt right on top of the ice. Alright, now in our small baggie, we're going to get a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. You guys love the if you were here, I would pass it around and let you smell it. Quarter of a teaspoon. And this little guy right here. Whoa. That's where the towel comes in handy again. Put that inside. And now we're going to need two tablespoons of sugar. Excuse me, sugar. Mmm, we like sugar. One. Mm, I can smell the vanilla. Two. All right. Seal that up. Make sure that this is sealed really well. If you don't seal it well, when you start to shake it, the salt from this bag will get into this bag and make your ice cream taste salty, and that's yucky. All right, so I'm gonna put the little one inside of the big one. Oh, I've got one more ingredient that I forgot. Wait a minute. Half and half. Half and half. Half a cup. Now, if you use half and half instead of milk, it will work faster. If you don't have half and half and you want to use milk, it will still work. It will just take a little bit more shaking on your part. We'll do the quick shake method, which is using half and half. All right. Let's seal that guy up. Big one. And seal that one up. All right. And now, I 
it's time to shake. And this. Ice cream. Woohoo! Oh, it's delicious. That's good. All right, today's book is by John Cena. It's called Elbow Grease. This is Elbow Grease. This is Flash. This is Pinball. This is Tank. And this is Crash. Hee <laughs> hee, that tickles. Come on, Bo, the story's starting. Technically, at this point, the story has already started. What story? Last one there is a hunk of junk. This is called Elbow Grease. Hey, that's me. Elbow Grease was the smallest truck in the demolition derby, but he never let that bother him. Why should I? His brother Tank was tougher. His brother Flash was faster. His brother Pinball was smarter. His brother Crash was braver. Okay, we get the point. What Elbow Grease had was gumption. You got that right, Buster. He always tried his best and never ever gave up. Ouch! Ah! Oops! Yow! At night, Mel the mechanic plugged in elbow grease to charge while the other trucks slept outside. Sometimes his brother teased him for being different. He's got a plug. He's stuck to the wall. He's got a lithium ion battery which requires an external power source for daily recharging. <laughs> He's got a plug. Have fun in the rain, you jalopies. Elbow grease didn't get upset. He was glad to be inside, especially during storms. Then, one night, Mel brought home a poster. Someday I'm gonna be on a poster. It says Monster Truck Grand Prix. The brothers laughed. You're too slow. You're too small. Your technique and experience are insufficient to complete at a professional level. You're too, uh... Don't hurt yourself, Tank. That made Elbow Grease mad, so mad that he zoomed off to the Grand Prix by himself to prove his brothers wrong. I'll show those jalopies what I can really do. In the morning, Elbow Grease was exhausted. He had been driving all night without a charge. But when he arrived at the Grand Prix, he felt his circuit surge with excitement. He quietly rolled onto the track and snug into position behind the monster trucks at the starting line, the race was about to begin. On your mark, get set, go! The other trucks were bigger. The other trucks were faster. The other trucks had more experience and better technique. But Elbro Grease would not quit. Never give up. He fell behind, but he kept on trucking. Oof. He got covered in mud, but he kept on rolling. Yuck. He got bashed and smashed and even caught on fire a little bit, but he still kept on going. Yeah, a kazowie. Halfway through the race, it started pouring rain. Thunder rumbled, lightning flashed. All of a sudden, Elbow Grease's engine shut down. 
His battery was completely dead. Elbow Grease was stuck. For the first time, he wondered if his brothers were right. He started to cry. I'm not crying. I'm just cold and tired and scared of the lightning. Cracker! Boom chakalaka! The lightning jolted the battery back to life. Elbow Grease barely had enough charge to keep going, but he didn't give up. He didn't give in. No matter what, he would finish this race even if he came in last. Mel and Elbow Grease's mothers arrived just in time to see him rattle across the finish line and collapse in a heap. The winner's celebration was already over. Aww. Look, Bo, most trucks couldn't even make it to the finish line. Just then, the winner of the race rolled by. Well, shift my gears and call me Sally. This kid's got gumption. You boys could learn a lot from him. Crash was shocked. Big. Flash was stunned. Wheels. Pinball was intrigued. McGee. Tank was confused. Who? Mel knew that Big Wheels McGee was right. If you only stick with what you're good at, you'll never learn anything. So the next time your problem seems too big or too hard, just remember, a little elbow grease goes a long way. Oops, I am currently on fire. <laughs> Ouch. Ah, you can do it, fellas. Hustle up and show me some gumption. What do you mean the end? Haven't you been listening? Never give up, never quit, never say the end. Keep on going, keep on trying. You can do it. Let's sing our goodbye song. Let's get a beat so we can say goodbye. Na 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 na, na 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, Eleanor. Goodbye, Victoria. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Goodbye, Stella. Goodbye, Jake. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jacob. Goodbye, Gianna. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Goodbye, Ford. Goodbye, Emmy. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Goodbye, Daniel. Goodbye, Elena. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Goodbye, Brody. Goodbye, Brandon. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Goodbye, Austin. Goodbye, teachers. Hey, 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 goodbye.